Hi, I'm Jane Beach and this is your City of Culture News on Ireland.com. Well, BBC Radio 1's big weekend has been a huge success. Over 35,000 music fans gathered at Ebrington Square to watch worldwide acts like Bruno Mars, Biffy Clyro and Calvin Harris perform. It's the second time Derry Londonderry has hosted the flagship event. The script's Mark Sheehan said the vibes in the city were brilliant and the weekend was a fantastic opportunity to attract massive live acts who usually focus on London. But now the countdown is on to the return of Colm Kill on the 7th and 8th of June. It's a centrepiece of the culture year, celebrating the iconic figure of St Colm Kill and the city of Derry, Londonderry and its people. Audiences can expect storytelling on a grand scale. Written by Frank Cottrell Boyce, writer of the London 2012 Olympics opening ceremony, the citywide extravaganza will feature hundreds of performers, art, comedy, music and fireworks. And internationally renowned band The Undertones is also getting in on the action. It's going to be an unforgettable few days. It's it's all happening. You can kind of you kind of can't believe it. It's really exciting. Saturday afternoon we're just going to completely transform the city. It's like repopulate it, rename the streets. It's just going to look like a completely different city. It's going to look as though it's it's in a parallel, a, a, a dairy in a parallel parallel universe. You know? And finally, coming up later in June, it's a celebration of one of the world's most loved songs. Oh, Danny Boy. Danny Boy has been recorded by artists as diverse as Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, Bing Crosby, The Pogues and even The Muppets. And on the 21st of June, hundreds of people are coming together in the city for a massive outdoor performance to celebrate the 100th anniversary of this beautiful song. Well, that's it for now, but I'll be back again soon with more City of Culture news on Ireland.com.